hello everyone and welcome back to another video on pops production tech today here i have with me the samsung galaxy tab a 2016 10.1 inch model and i'm going to show you guys how to upgrade this device to android 10q so currently i am running the official stock os android 8.0 oreo from samsung of course um, samsung experience ui um so of course my bootloader is currently locked so i'm going to show you how to do all of that i'm going to show you how to install tool and so on so by now you should probably be copying your files over the links are in the description um, routing is optional and i recommend routing with magisk so you can get that links will be in the description so first things first um ensure that files are copied and what we're going to do now is head over to settings and we're going to go down to about tablet software information and we're going to tap on build number several times to enable developer option so you have to put in your pin if you have a password so i'm going to do that now all right so i've done that and i am going to scroll down it should show up somewhere because of course it has already been turned on so i believe it should be in general uh, it hasn't showed up as yet so i'm going to close settings I'm going to open it up again and you should see developer options down here so now you're going to select OEM unlock which unlocks your bootloader so all your security features will be disabled such as FRP lock so if you um, disable this enable this sorry then you would no longer have FRP lock so I'm going to put in my pin now all right so that's done so I'm going to enable it and now we're going to boot into download mode so ensure that samsung drivers are installed on your pc and you have Odin downloaded so i have it downloaded and installed already um of course i have a video as well showing you guys how to resolve uh, the various issues with Odin. so if you are having issues then of course refer to this video the link will be in the description um so let me just open up the application um all right so that's it uh, so now what I'm going to do is of course power off and boot into download mode um, To do so you press your power volume down and home button simultaneously and you will be taken to download mode So I am now in download mode as you can see right here um, I'm going to now connect my cable and um, So that's it and you press volume up to continue On your PC now on Odin you should see this message right here um, which of course tells you that your device has been successfully connected. So now in order to install Twoop, we're going to click AP and we're going to select our file for Twoop. So this is what's going to happen right now. So I'm going to find the folder where Twoop is installed, um, where Twoop has been downloaded, sorry. So it's right here in my downloads folder. The links of course to all of these files will be in the description. Um, so as you can see, I've selected the file. Um, head over to options before we start and uncheck auto reboot. I always recommend doing that just to avoid any problems So just ensure that this is done and now you're going to click start Okay, the device won't reboot because we unchecked auto reboot. So of course as you can see succeed um, Displayed by Odin and you can check out the logs as well and you can see all the varying messages so this is it right now and what we're going to do now is boot into recovery mode by pressing power volume up and home buttons together simultaneously so let's do that to boot into twop right, so we are booting into twop right now um swipe to allow modifications okay. so now head over to wipe and you're going to select format data so this is going to delete all your files in your internal storage and in your data partition so you are going to select format data and you are going to type yes now this is very important because if you do not do this then after installing the rom you wouldn't be able to boot up it would give you a message asking you to format data so it is very important that you do this step so just ensure that you have important files back up and um, you have well of course your rom you have your rom on a micro sd card which i recommend i will also put this note in the beginning of the video so that you take note of this or you can do it via adb as well so just select this right now and it's going to format data and afterwards you are going to select home and you are going to reboot and select recovery so it will boot back into twip and um, we will now be able to 
proceed with the installation. So just wait for this real quick, it's going to boot up again. And um, so just swipe to allow modifications. And of course, I always recommend a backup. So before you head over to wipe again, um, perform a backup of your boot and the FS partitions. These partitions are very important. So, you know, just in the event anything happens, you have a backup of these two partitions. So um, that's it. So now head over to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, system, data, and cache. So, uh, well, internal storage has been wiped, so you can select it again, doesn't really matter. And you're going to select wipe. All right, so it's done. So select home and head over to install. So I have everything on my micro SD card, so I'm going to select it. And I'm going to head over to the folder where I've copied my files. I have, of course, root as well. So if you'd like to get root, you can use Magisk um, version 20 and, uh, and over. Any older version won't work, so use Magisk version 20 and over. So select Lineage OS 17, which is Android 10Q, and add more zips and select open Google Apps. Now, Google Apps is optional, but I know most of you, of course, would want it. So you can select Google Apps. Links to that will be in the description. So select swipe to flash and the installation process will begin. So an update on the installation. Google Apps is now being installed. Um, Lineage OS 17 was just complete a while ago. So now Google Apps is being installed. now then there will be an issue where the device might randomly reboot for no reason um, so what i recommend is selecting either a pattern pin or password so let me just put in a pin just for the sake of this and confirm that okay so it happened again but just to mention a force reboot will resolve the issue so a force reboot is basically pressing your power and volume down buttons together so if you notice after setup the device just um, performs a soft reboot which is just showing you the boot animation then what to do is just press your power and volume down buttons to forcefully reboot the tablet so that helped uh, solve the problem so i'm going to now put in my password and i'm going to of course show you guys android 10 so the only noticeable bug was what i experienced a while ago and of course the fix for this is performing a force reboot power and volume down and also putting in a lock screen password so it's recommended to put in a lock screen password to solve this problem um, i may be wrong but i will post a, th a link to the thread in the description so that you can report your your problems with others out there and of course share your ideas on possible ways of addressing the problems so this is it for today's video i thank you guys so much for watching and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel show your support share the video with others and of course i will see you guys in another video have a good one